Hello, 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 and good morning, um, and welcome to um, a live post. Um, as usual, uh, my name is uh, Allah Yomi Koiki, and thank you very much um, to everyone that has been following us on our Facebook page and also on our YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, it's a very beautiful Sunday, and I'm sure wherever you are, uh, part of the world, um, I say hello to you and good morning. It's been a very beautiful weekend, and I'm sure, you know, as you can see, I'm right in the house, you know, after a very long weekend yesterday, you know, I've managed to even pick up a cold, you know, but um, right in the house. And I've decided to at least uh, make uh, you know, a video right from the comfort of the house where I could be able to speak direct to um, you know, my audience. Uh, there's nothing much to discuss than just to um, you know, brief you of some of our activities for some of you that will probably won't know or probably have been saying Niger diaspora, Niger diaspora, and you'll be asking you know, who are Niger diaspora and what do we do? As you can see, uh, Niger Diaspora, you know, we tend to uh, bring you a lot of information, up-to-date news, not just in Nigeria, but also here in United Kingdom, where we all, I mean, you know, most of us reside, and also, you know, uh, in every part of the, uh, the world. My name again is Ola Yomikoiki. You know, Niger Diaspora is one central hub connecting Nigeria globally, you know, diaspora is a unique portal where Nigerians that are living in diaspora, you know, wherever you are, it could be in Canada, it could be in Russia, it could be in Germany, you know, where we can, um, you know, find information. So if you're, you know, uh, looking for, you know, a lawyer, or probably, you know, um, an estate agent, and you visit our website, you'll be able to pick that information, you know, you know, locally in terms of um, a good solicitor or an estate agent, you know, our objective is to provide a platform that is rich in content. And I'm sure, you know, we've been doing that, you know, uh, ever since the Niger diaspora, you know, has been um, operating. So that means, um, you know, for every day, you know, we tend to come up with different content. As you can see, you know, we move around, you know, as, as long as we're aware of any information, that is uh, coming up to us. We try to um, bring that to you so that you know you could be well informed because the most important thing is um, as long as um, you know the technology is there, it is very easy now for us to communicate with each other you know via WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram. but the most important thing is you know we must not get carried away. We must also embed it with, you know, useful information that could help, you know, every one of us in terms of, um, you know, our day-to-day -day life. Yesterday, for those that probably have, um, you know, watched me, you know, from uh, Brent yesterday, you know, I was at Brent yesterday, you know, a very, very beautiful event hosted by um, the, the nurse. Uh, they're on Facebook, you know, if you want to join them, you know, I'm going to type that so that uh, as I speak, this is going to be very interactive because I'm more well relaxed, I'm at home, so and I'm on the laptop, so which is more easier than um, the phone. So the news organized the event I was yesterday, you know, discussing about, uh, you know, mental, you know, health issues. This is something you know, a lot of us within the, um, you know, the African community tend to shy away from. We, we don't want to talk about it. And a lot of us are going through all kind of, you know, emotional problems. And um, if you don't speak out, you know, no one will be able to help you. You know, I've said it so many times on my platform, you know, if you don't ask, you don't get. But if you ask, you know, there's, um, hello, good morning, uh, uh, Kazubaba. You know, it is very important that.
you know we need to seek information and advice so that we could be able to get help thank you very much um, Oscar Bingo you know uh, Oscar Bingo again you know um, Nigeria diaspora is one of their media partner we were there last week Saturday bringing you live you know the video is already out there now you know you can watch it on um, Oscar Bingo Facebook page wall or you could go to Nigeria diaspora you know YouTube channel and you'll be able to um, watch some of the video clips you know we've done also uh, I'm gonna be moving you know from <laughs> from different topics so because this is gonna be more like interactive you know just to bring you up to date of what is happening within the community and also what is happening you know within you know you know the the whole world in terms of you know the benefit you know the world itself is so compounded now that there's so many things that is happening but the question you should ask yourself is you know are you taking advantage you know of so many information that is coming to you or you just relax without doing so much you know i'm going to go back to the news where i was yesterday at Wembley it was about five hours you know the event was detailed you know the video clip is now up and running on our YouTube channel where you'll be able to watch you know um, you know the event you know yesterday that's why you can switch on the volume I'm at home you know just uh, like I said you know you might probably hear a lot of noise from the background you know bear with me but uh, I've thought you know I bring this in a diff in a different atmosphere where I feel more relaxed myself you know where it's different from uh, being outdoor uh, the news you know creating awareness about mental health issues in the black and minority ethnic community you know so much was said yesterday at that event uh, and I will um, advise everyone you know to take time and watch that was um, the video clip uh, from you know the event yesterday you know very touching you know a lot of people said so many things um, that I myself I mean it's like I felt you know it was just too much it got to a stage you know we have to um, put the uh, the live video on the on a pause because it was becoming a little bit more emotional you know there was a lady speaking you know and it was very too much so we had to put it on on pause so you might probably notice in between um, that video clip you know when a particular uh, woman was was talking it was becoming too personal so we have to put it on pause but the message around it is um, you know she was able you know to pick you know she was able to pick a very detailed information that helped her and her family on Facebook again you know people might think you know Facebook is just there you know there's so many things happening around Facebook now you know there's opportunity there but the most important thing is are you taking advantage of those opportunity are you following the trend you know thank you very much um, you know sister uh, Reti Susie you know very powerful information she posts out every every day as well you know a lot of people post so many things out but sometimes you got to make sure that you know you take advantage of those information because you know I mean she was talking about uh, Larry Ekundayo you know so, much, so many people might probably won't know him now until when he becomes like Anthony Joshua in, you know very soon he's gonna be you know having his own fight as well so these are kind of details information we don't wait till you know you know there's so many things i know the post comes in a lot on facebook remember 1.3 billion users on facebook every month yes 1.3 billion that is quite a big number but you must not get carried away take the good side of facebook make it to build yourself you know connect with the right people change your network if you have to but i'll go back again one step forward uh, backwards you know yesterday you know i was at the nose where you know they were discussing about mental health issue you know within the minority and the um, the black and the minority ethnic community you know this is something we we don't like talking about you know we we keep it to ourselves you know we, we, we tend to believe that you know i mean what was discussed yesterday was bipolar disorder you know i mean why would i want to tell anyone you know i'm going through this kind of problems but if you don't tell anyone what you're going through then you can't get the help and assistance. But now, 
you know the the opportunities there you know you could speak to i mean there was a lady one of the um you know the, the speakers was saying the the help is there but no one is coming to, to you know to get the help i mean i was um reading a post from um, uh, someone in nigeria on my instagram this morning and yes i mean we have the advantage you know to get treated with all these you know um whatever we are going through but he was saying uh you know, i wish i could uh, pick that information and read it across he was you know telling me more of um you know this is a problem where you know the moment someone believes or know that you are going through that kind of problem in nigeria you know you're probably just like no way you know no 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 one wants to deal with you you know this is what we're trying to um you know we need to change this perspective you know someone going through you know uh, bipolar disorder doesn't mean anything you know it's just that you know every one of us you know we wake up in the morning we come up with different mood you know you know we, we we're aiming high and sometimes you know it doesn't work the way we want and then you know the whole thing just crashed on us but that doesn't mean we can't build ourselves back again you know and this is part of the message that was you know um, spoken about yesterday at the Brent right in Wembley again you know the news you can follow them you know the old video clip of four hours you know intense discussion you know what and what you need to know you know was discussed at this event yesterday you know you can watch the video clip please share it to someone someone might listen to it and believe that yes i'm not the only one going through this problem you know i'm not the only one facing difficulties you know it is a hard time you know i mean <laughs> there's recession everywhere that's where i look at it whether you live in uk you live in america you live in canada everybody is going through one difficulties or the other you know, but the most important thing is we must, be, we must be able to encourage each other. We must be able to work together as a community wherever we reside, whether you're in Cyprus, whether you're in Istanbul, whether you're in Nigeria. You know, let's use the, you know, the collective effort of, you know, being together closer because I could remember, you know, more than 15 years ago, there was nothing like Facebook. So now that Facebook is there, you know, we should not use it as a disadvantage to criticize each other. But the most important thing is, is to use it to help each other. And this is one of the reasons why Nigeria Diaspora will be there. You know, if we are aware of any of your events, we will come down there, you know, we try and bring it live so that, you know, so many people can learn and share from whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter what it is, you know, we come down there and we give you the full, you know, support, you know. Uh, next week Saturday, you know, we're coming back again with another beautiful event. It's all happening in um, and I need to get our details right It's not right in front of me, but I'll be posting that on my Facebook